in this chapter we gonna make an RC circuit and we gonna use so open a new project name it as an RC maybe get to the EMA training piece by directory go in the demo on lights we will find the select the analog mix button open the page double click on the page one as you complete the remaining step you will be creating the RC circuit select the place part button go in the VDC portion select VDC the voltage source DC position your cursor and click to the place press escape to exit the mode place a part again select R in the analog library you will find R or resistance This is the capacitance. Place the capacitance parallel to R2 resistance. Name it as cap cap one. connect all those component resistance and capacitance go in the source library place the ground one common ground connect all those components this is the RC circuit ten volt DC supply this is the ten volt DC supply going to the RC circuit capacitance one cap one as an output display value only give an at alias we need an output as an at alias out out
input and output as an ideal has to have a graph added the all the properties so this will be their capacitance resistance and the voltages now properties per state editor this is uh, you are gonna change the properties p watt this will change the table from horizontal to vertical check the filter by enter the value 10 in the value field so now value will be the 10 for all the registers apply so see how the resistance value change to 10 now select add it 1 1 k so both of them 1k apply go on the main page Added the properties. Add it. One K. This is a reference capacitance of one value of one nano. property go and add filter my filter in the filters uncheck undefined show undefined so this will open a spreadsheet add a new row part number in the name field click apply the part number will be uh,
apply I'm going the simulation profile name the new simulation RC bias go in the bias point press the run button so this will generate but you cannot see any no graphics and empty press the view output file piece points view output file in the output file you will see the all the nodes have been connected pv1 connected to 0 to 10 volt Enable Remove the groundings, rerun the simulation, warnings are reported. You see the warnings, the nodes will be like floating, like nodes is floating, there is no connection. The red uh, value it says that uh, there is no supply, all is floating because they are not connected to the ground, just uh, positive and negative is there connect to the ground now rerun the simulation give uh, DC is read and simulation you will find that total power consumption is for 5 watt in the piece point give a new simulation profile R rc underscore dc because we are gonna give a dc sweeper in in that so we go for rc underscore dc give a DC sweep from 0 volt to 10 volt primary sweep because primary element is our voltage source
select all data collection all all wall voltages all current all power all digitals and noise whatever we are giving a DC supply from 0 to 10 volts with a 1 volt increment after simulation display the probe window also marker set up a color voltage markers open the simulation the 0 to 10 volt sweep with 1 volt increment as an x-axis add a trans voltage out and voltage in from 0 to 10 volt at voltage output the voltage is decreasing because of the RC network Keep the two voltage markers. Trice property, change the colors, you can change the pattern, you can change the width, you can change the symbols on that uh, trice, make it like yellow, whatever you want it. Pattern, That's the pattern. Zero to five volt. So if we get forward zero to five volt range and all the analog datas you can select you can also select the scale as a log or linear select the performance analysis Fourier analysis whichever you want to do it
in the X grid make it an automatic lines you can change the grid lines dots intersections spacings number outside the plot edge So green dots are the small dash value dash dash pattern which is uh, seen in between the x axis and y axis. They are all the grids. So you can change the grid for the x axis like going horizontal, y axis vertical. So you can make a change over that too. They are all needed for like when you want to analyze the graph properly. You want some changes in that? You can do that like dots or plus they are normally used to like find appropriate values or particular point on the graph so see how this pattern is changing and go setting y grid y grid is uh, y axis grid like horizontal vertical if you go and change it you want to change the pattern So this is changing y axis volt gradles for 0 to 5 changing the pattern of gradles that makes graph more look nice x axis 0 to 5 volt y axis is from 0 to 6 volt like automatic it is you can also make it x grid interval between two major is 2 so from 1 to 0 to 1 value it has 2 grid in the setting go in the y axis axis position is now right and y axis the y axis 0 to 6 volt volts add it on the right
plays a part. We're gonna do the Rs AC sweep. Let's construct the clipper circuit by having an addition of a resistance, diodes, capacitance, voltage sources. Place all the resistors. We need four, three resistors, four resistors. Connect the AC source, VAC from source, VDC from source. Okay, now from the off page connectors and connect all those components. Select off page connector, not this is just, sorry, ground. Make a one common ground for circuit and two common ground for the source. Select an off-page connector, name it, 
as a VCC and a V in two for VCC two for V in one for output input VCC That's a VCC. Input. Keep a value output. connect all those components input connected to resistance R1 1k then uh, two resistance R2 R3 in a series and uh, connected to R1 making a divider VCC connected to R2 
give five volt DC supply. One volt AC supply. Keep an alias MID. VDB. Clipper AC. AC sweep starting frequency will be 10 ending frequency will be 100 megahertz and point per deck is 11 Select the markers, voltage label. The dB magnitude of voltage. So one is the uh, voltage before capacitance, one voltage will be near the output, run the simulation. So VDB mid and VDB at output, output and mid as shown in the graphics is scale is of uh, 20 dB log, 20 log 10. The output capacitance and the load uh, res resistor act as a high pass filter. So the overall response is illustrated by only the VDB output. Now change uh, and frequency to 100 megahertz in order to sh show see how the overall this shows the high pass filter. So the output capacitance and resistance is working as a high pass filter. This is like a band pass response. And the voltage output voltage equals to the gain attenuation of the circuit like one one volt because of the AC sweep is linear. So gain is one. Add the Y axis. So this is like high pass filter band pass. So this particular band up from the 100 hertz to 100 megahertz is like passed by RC circuit. Select an expression called VP out. V 
BP out is the voltage coming at uh, this is voltage at point P coming at the output. 